iag.me. Seriously social. Socially awesome. Hello, Ian Anderson Gray here from Seriously Social. So I wanted to try something new and go through a number of different tools just give a brief overview of why I think they are good tools, why you think you could use them, the main features. And today I want to talk about a tool called Clear, and that's Clear with a K, K-L-E-A-R. Now it used to be called Twitterland, and many of you may have heard of the tool under that name, but they had a rebrand relatively recently, and they're now called Clear. Basically because, unlike the name Twitterland, they actually do more than just Twitter. They do Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also, I realized today, they also do LinkedIn. That's a, a new feature. So Twitterland is a great tool that enables you to do things like finding influencers. So that will help with influencer marketing, finding the influencers in your industry and may help with outreach. It also helps with social monitoring and analytics. So that's digging deep into the data, finding out how you're doing in terms of your return on investment. That's infamous ROI and also you can dig deep into the demographics so you can find out a little bit more information about the your followers you know are they mainly men or women and the age group things like that and you can monitor and add the these people into different lists and interact with them so let's get started um, before I log in I just wanted to just go through the different plans they have. They do have a limited free plan and I would recommend signing up for that first just to get an idea of whether this tool is going to be right for you. Um, it gives you some information in terms of the monitoring. You've got a demo monitor there. It enables you to do some influencer marketing uh, research in terms of the search engine as well. The basic plan which actually, despite the name of basic, it does give you an awful lot of information that it's $99 per month. So for some of you might think, well, that is expensive compared to some plans. Yes, some other tools out there, it is expensive, but it does give you a huge amount of information there. And then they also have some more advanced plans for maybe more enterprise users as well. So to log in, uh, once you've signed up, uh, you can either do that via email or I'm going to do it the quick and easy way via Twitter. So once I've logged in, we're taken to the home screen. Now, if you're a agency or you're managing a, a number of different social networks or, or groups of social networks, one of the great features with Clear is that you can have multiple workspaces. So I've got one here for, for myself and social media, uh, but I've also got one for mobile carriers and another site, another group of networks there as well. Um, let's just go into the mobile carriers workspace because this is uh, quite interesting. I can see, I can basically dig deep into the data for the mobile carriers here in the UK. So we've got three, Vodafone, EE and O2. So if I click on three, I can monitor the social media for three on their Facebook, Twitter and potentially Instagram, whether I've added that, I'm not entirely sure. I think I've just added this for three UK support. But just to give you an example of what you can do here, I can edit this. So I've actually, in this case, yes, it is just Twitter, the three UK support. Um, but I could add Facebook and Instagram here and LinkedIn, which is a new feature. So you can see here on a day by day basis, this is the number of brand mentions they're getting. On average, they're getting around four to five hundred, sometimes up to yeah, five, four, six on a day by day basis. And you can also see the activity. Um, so these are th these are the number of posts that they're, they're putting out on on their Twitter account on a day by day basis, and the number of replies and comments, and also their fan base fan base growth over time. Let's just go back to my default workspace because this is probably a little bit more helpful here, and I can look at how I'm doing on a day by day basis. So. Once this is loaded, I can it will give me the overview of how I'm doing on a day-by-day -day basis. So this is the number of brand mentions. This is basically my name. Uh, this is either my username on Twitter or my full name, Ian Anderson Gray. And I can see uh, there was a peak there at, uh, on, when was that? On the 23rd of October. 
And one great thing about Clear is I can actually click on that and I can find out, well, what were those mentions about? What I can dig deep into that data and say, well, what was happening on that particular day? And I can look down here and there was a lot of activity on this blog post I wrote on for the top four rated social media management tools. So that was a lot of the, the, the content that was being, or the number of mentions that I was having on that day was due to that post that went out. Let's go down here. So that was a quite a peak and recently I've not been spending as much time on Twitter so I can see that that's dropped off. And then the activity, I can see the number of tweets, the number of posts I'm I'm doing on a day-by-day -day basis. So that's mainly Twitter, but I can I can also look at Facebook. I've only had six posts on Facebook and 14 photos on Instagram. What I really like about this is it's showing me also the number of, the, basically the engagement. So on Twitter, this is retweets. On Facebook, this is likes. And same on Instagram, in fact, it's likes as well there. And also the replies and comments. And then the follower growth there. So one good, another good thing about this is I can compare with other people. So I can add, or other brands. So in this case, I'm just going to add a couple of other people here. And I can see on a day by day basis how I'm being com I'm compared with other other brands and other individuals. So these are the number of brand mentions, and down here I can see uh, the number of replies and comments on a day by day basis. How many times I'm replying compared to my competitors. So I'm not doing quite as well as Rebecca Redis, who is a bit of a an amazing person in terms of her engagement. She does really really well there. And I can also look here and compare uh, on a day by day basis and see what is being shared um, or what mentions, what are the mentions on all the different networks. One really good feature here is the demographics tab. I can look and see what a little bit more information about the people behind who are following these accounts. So for me, in fact, all of us in this case, it's women. By a little bit, it's 52 to 53 uh, percent is the dominant gender. Top age group, 25 to 34 year olds, and the main country is the United States by quite a long way. So that is really inf interesting information here. Also, we can find what the interests are for. So for this, it's social media, which is maybe not uh, too surprising, and also the domains that the followers are sharing. So for uh, for Adam Connell, it's ten percent are sharing growth hackers, and we can go down there. Copy blogger is a, a, again another one as well. But for Rebecca Redis, it tends to be social media today. I'm going to go back to the mobile carriers workspace because I think this is useful to compare as well here. So I'm going to go to three. I'm going to compare with the other ones as well, the other networks or the other carriers. So I'm going to compare with O2. I'm going to compare with Vodafone and EE as well. And let's go to demographics because just to show you basically the difference here. So let's go to demographics. Once that has loaded. So here we can see for three, the dominant gender is a skewed a little bit towards women and it's the 18 to 24 age group. United Kingdom, which is uh, unsurprising because these are all UK carriers. Whereas O2 is skewed towards me men. Same with Vodafone. E is actually quite a bit more skewed towards women as well. And then the top skill here, we've got music for three and EE, whereas there are a lot of marketing people following um, O2. Go down here, we can see a bit more information on, on this as well. And the cities, the top city is London for majority of them. Manchester's the second one, and also the interests. This can f give you a lot, more, a lot more information on your followers and the people who are engaging with you on a day-by-day -day basis. We can also see here, this was interesting, we can see the top domains of the uh, that, that your followers are linking to and your competitors as well. So there's a lot of shares to gov.uk, that's the UK government website, and also to the poke as well. Let's go to the influencers tab. This enables us to find out the main influencers in your particular sector or your niche. So let's, I mean, I could choose social media, but let's choose something a little bit different. So I'm going to choose business. And I want to find the top influencers 
who are in the business sector who are talking about business. Now, I don't want to really find out that the, the rule top, the, the big the big names, I mean, this is unsurprising. We're at Forbes, Harvard Biz Review, Bloomberg there. I want to just, I don't really even want to kind of connect with the celebrities. I'm more interested in, say, the power users. So let's just change the filter to power users. And also, I don't want everyone in the world. My target, for example, might just be the UK. So let's just choose the UK. And this is showing me the top users or the top influencers, power users in the UK who are talking about business. And actually, interesting, I know quite a few of these people, which is interesting. Uh, so I can kind of scroll down and find out a little bit more about these people. I might want to add them to a, a list in, in, uh, in Clear. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. I can follow them. I can open their profile. I can search on LinkedIn as well. And one other thing you can do here is I can add the top 50 of those to a list in clear. So I can just quite, I actually would need to create a list first, but I can add them to a list in clear and then I can then bulk add them to a Twitter list as well. So I just that enables me really to interact with those people much more quickly um, using Twitter in particular. So if I go to lists now, I can show you this. So I've already created a, a list. In fact, I haven't. No, I think I created it in a different workspace. So, but I could I could click on find influencers, for example. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do choose social media. I'm going to do the same thing. Power users. Uh, let's yeah, let, let's choose the UK again. I'm just I'm wanting to connect with UK influencers in the social media space. So I can see them all listed down there. And oh, look, there's me. How exciting. And you can also, the one other thing is you can see the popularity, the reach and the relevance and the number of Twitter followers there. But let's just add those to a list. And I've messed up there because I need to, I have no list. Start by adding one person to your first list via the drop menu near the profile picture. Okay, fair enough. Let's do that. So UK social media influencers create that now is this going to work let's see no it's not it's typical isn't it but anyway basically what you can do there is you can add them to a list in clear it should be quite easy to do but oh there we go I just needed to refresh the page so now that i've done that i've created my uk social media influence list i can just click that and that is added those 50 people the top 50 people there to a twitter list let's go to lists again and there you can see it's actually added 49 for some reason um, so i can do that i can export to twitter i can download that to a csv as a csv so if you're a bit of an excel nerd you can you can download there and you can add your own comments you can connect so if i was to export to twitter this would create a twitter list and that's great because that would be a really easy way for me to interact with these people on a day-by-day -day basis. So that's just a very brief overview. I could dig into a lot more information, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of Clear. It's not going to be for everyone, um, but I think it's one of the easy, easiest tools really to use that I've come across for social media monitoring and analytics. Um, that also includes demographics. So there's quite a few other tools out there that I would also recommend looking at. There's uh, one called Quintly. There's also one called So Trender, which is more of an audit tool. It gives you some advice on how you're doing. Um, but I definitely would check out Clear and I hope you found this useful. Thanks very much for listening.